blessed is the person who has the ability to see oneness because then he doesn't feel any vijugupsa vijugupsa is aversion hatred disgust at others which is what we all feel because of that separateness so oneness is samata samatva samadarshitva different words he uses the concept is the same you must learn to live it and expand it think how far does your oneness stretch me my children husband wife shaky grandchildren son in law maybe daughter in law definitely not bus that's it beyond that there is no oneness expand that the more you are able to see oneness you know you see in the among musicians among the fraternity of musicians there is that mutual respect for each other not competition so a musician uh, attends the concert of another musician and says wow heartfelt appreciation of another's performance sport you find uh, sachin tendulkar uh, at the wimbledon you find a tennis player watching a, a cricket match so on and so forth it is heartfelt admiration uh, nadal for instance uh, deeply admires roger federer irrespective of his ranking whether it's number 1 or number 10 so expand your vision of oneness expand it to the community expand it to your employees expand it to your colleagues in office try it you don't look very enthusiastic <laughs> so once you do that then you get into that uh, different plane of consciousness that you see now in the atma shatkam fabulous verse sada me samatvam na muktir na bandha if you reach that state of samatvam where your mind is equanimous in all circumstances you become a master it a calm mind that conquers the world so aspire for it at least we are constantly jumping up and down constantly getting agitated constantly getting disturbed and the worst part is 90% of our disturbance is pure imagination you imagine that other people are out to harm you even if it is true it is impossible for anybody to harm you only you can harm yourself so how to see that oneness understand that everyone is a product of nature and nurture nature means vasanas we are all born with certain qualities gunas and it's very difficult to change that and then that is compounded by the upbringing one child is brought up in the slums another child is brought up in affluence that makes a difference when you understand that then you come down to equality fix an ideal when you start working for a higher ideal then everyone below who comes within the purview of that ideal you feel one with like mahatma gandhi when he fixed the country as an ideal he felt one with all indians he didn't see any differences between indians third is identification 
when you are identified with the body you see maximum differences you can't even see oneness with your own child identify with the mind you see oneness within the family which is why all of us feel comfortable when we are home isn't that true however luxurious an external environment may be just to go back home especially when you go abroad to come back home and have ordinary dal chawal is bliss <laughs> why it is not the dal chawal it is the fact that you have come home identify with your intellect and everyone under the that intellectual purview becomes one identify with atman complete total oneness there is no one whom you feel separate from or competitive with opponent with tap the bell icon and subscribe to vedanta vision on youtube to get inspired by jaya rao's videos every week